In this video, we are going to see a demo of how the PIP or PIP works and how do you start a process under PIP. What is a child session? What is a virtual desktop session? Everything in detail we are going to discuss in this video. So let's move on to our screen and let's get started. Hey guys, are you ready to see the demo of PIP? What is PIP? PIP means picture in picture. What is the benefit of PIP? Everything I'm going to talk about. Now, first of all, remember PIP will only work in attended automation. This is not going to work for unattended automation. Remember, it is only for attended automation. So what is the benefit? Why attended automation? These questions are there. Okay, I'm going to talk about it. Now, first of all, let's see where is PIP. Once you have automation on your Yapath assistant, earlier, if you click on these three dots, there used to be a PIP option. Right now, you do not see that. So where do you find it? So this option is actually available when you highlight the project or your automation project. When you highlight, you click on this name, okay? Click on the name. Then you go to a second page where you see information and this is where you can enable your PIP or disable PIP. Okay. Now before I start PIP, what would happen? I have shown you the demo initially in the video wherein a new window starts and the automation will begin in that window. So what would happen? You are completely free to use your computer. That is the benefit of PIP. So attended automation, only when it is attended automation, you want the computer to be free so that the user can use it getting it that's why pip is only for attended automation so that the user can use the computer pretty simple if it is un unattended that means no one is there let it run no we don't need a pip for unattended simple so this is where you start the pip so i'm going to start the pip during during while it you know continues to open um, you know I, i'll be slightly mum because i i felt the audio is not very clear while it is running it is consuming a lot of cpu so i'll be quiet uh, while this is running okay so let me start and i will explain after that so i'm going to hit on save and is saying are you sure you want to so let me say yes so just now you saw the demo how the pip window has come and it was allowing me to move the mouse so while the pip is running you will be able to use your computer that is the benefit now there are two other things very important things there are two different sessions one is called a uh, child session the other one is called virtual desktop session okay in pip so what is this i am going to show you now the one that you saw was an example of this demo you already saw just now you saw was a child session how it came how how you had the option to take control keep it on, on top all those options were there now let me show you what are this and what is the difference of both of this so for this let me go to go back to the studio okay let me go back to the studio in the studio here is a simple uh, project wherein what exactly it's doing it is opening rpachallenge.com it is typing in the first name field Rakesh and in the last name field is typing Kumar. I have put everything inside a while loop. So it is going to run for 10 times and you know repeatedly do the same thing. This is simple for testing purpose. I have done a simple XAML file I have created or a project I have created. Now you have to go to the project, project tab and hit on the settings. Okay, hit on the project tab and then hit on the settings. Under general, here you have an option called PIP options. Okay. What is that? If you are creating a project, right? Not everything can run in a PIP mode. Okay. Now you have to test the project whether it is compatible for a PIP or not. So let's say I have done the testing. So I will select tested for PIP usage starting in PIP. So by default, when the user will start the automation in the attended mode, when he will manually run it, it will automatically start in PIP. Okay. The other option that we have is tested for PIP usage not starting in pip by default by default will not start uh, you know a user can go and select that like i have done not tested for pip usage okay so here i am going to select the pip usage okay now in this one pip type there are two different options one is the new session so just now you saw the new session is nothing but the child session okay where it opens on a separate window and you saw that how it appears now you have not seen the virtual desktop session how it appears Okay, I'm going to show you that. 
Now for this demo, all I will do in this drop down, I'm going to select new desktop. What I'm going to select new desktop and click on OK. So the project is now I'm going to hit on save. The project is now saved with the desktop option in pip. Okay. The project setting has been saved. I'm going to publish this to orchestrator. Okay. And I am going to give give it some name dot pip uh, dot virtual desktop demo. Okay, uh, desktop. Okay, done. So once this is done, I am going to hit on next. Okay, orchestrator tenant process feed. Fine. Next, I don't have a certificate. I am going to hit on publish. So what would happen? This is going to be published on orchestrator. So let's go back to orchestrator. Hit on the tenant and hit on the package. So here you can see I have got the uh, what is the package? Let me refresh. Okay, so publishing. So right now you can see the project is published. So now let's go to orchestrator, hit on tenant, hit on package. Okay, so here you can see uh pip virtual desktop okay the project is there now let me go to one of the folder and let's utilize that package as a process we will try to run that so i'll click on add process and select the package just now we have uploaded this is the virtual desktop demo right this is the project uh, entry point main.xml correct done nothing to do on the second one hit on next here you can give it a uh, you know some name right so i will say pip virtual desktop demo okay some name i am giving and then i am going to hit on create so what would happen i have created so let's go back to yapath assistant refresh it you can see the new process has come so remember the pip has to be always used in attended mode right always in attended mode so uh, let me click on OK on this one. Fine. Now on this one, let me start running this. So here I am not going to the project and I am not manually trying to change anything. Okay. Um, give it few seconds while it is installing. Okay. So the installation is complete. So you can see by default the run in PIP is enabled by default because the project settings as per the project is by default it is enabled let me go back and here all i have to do is simply run it okay the moment i okay so the moment uh, i ran it okay. so i have paused it for a moment so that the audio doesn't get uh, distracted now you can see the moment i have started running a different kind of window has appeared this is called the virtual desktop window now you will ask rakesh where is the virtual desktop so what this while this is running you can still use your computer it will not disturb you many times many after you have seen a project running in pip you know several every day you are running that automation and you are done with it right you don't have to see that every day right for the first few days it was fine later on you don't want it let it run let it run in the background but i don't want a window to be there on my computer then this is the best option where you save your project in a, in a new desktop right so what would happen is not going to disturb you it is still running it will continue to run in the background it will not disturb you so you can just minimize and continue doing your work pretty simple straightforward option right so this is what the virtual desktop is so i'm not going to uh, so what would happen the moment on this window right you have an option to switch to pip okay if you see the option to switch to pip the moment you click on it you will see this kind of a session is appearing i'm going to exit okay so i paused the automation so that the audio is coming properly that's why i paused it but this is how the virtual desktop session is going to work this is completely different from the pip pip has a complete you can watch it here you don't you know you, you don't watch it it's just running you just trust on it and you, you leave it okay but in case you want to watch it you still have an option to switch to pip and see what is happening all right guys so that's about it that is the objective of this uh, video thank you for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content with some useful information thank you guys take care bye bye